How are you all? You all fine? Yes. Good? From everything? So you know my stuff is on this tour service. Before we start, anyone remembers anything about last Sunday? Yes. They were speaking about Joseph. What's wrong? What's wrong with Joseph? Who's it? Yeah. Potiphar's wife. Potiphar's wife. What is it? God's wife. 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 He was taken to Egypt. Why? Why was he taken to Egypt? Brennan? Anyone? It was a very nice service. Joseph. Joseph suffered. Maybe he thought that God has forgotten him. Yeah? See, his own brothers, his own brother, see, his own brother threw him in the pit. His own brother, his own brother uh, sold him. Okay. So after that, after going through why he went, why he went to, went to Potiphar, went to prison, and God promoted him. God bless him. So no matter what we go through in our life, as young people or as anybody, we should always remember Joseph. Rabbanim said something in the message of the Lord. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? He said, he said, whenever things become very difficult, things become very dark, nothing is working. You try this, this, you do this one, it's not working. You go to try this one, it's not working. When everything is difficult, nothing is happening, that's where the blessing of the Lord comes. So people, most people get discouraged when they say, oh, no, I've tried this, I've tried this, I've tried that, it's not working, then let me know it. That, Prabhupada said, that's the moment that you have to be quiet and, and meditate. You know? yeah, we spoke about last time here on Sunday, but I don't know if you remember how Abra Abraham's wife was talking to him, saying all those things. Look at Lot, she got this, they went to Sodom and Gomorrah. You see, look at her, she got nice clothes, and me and me and they are looking like an old lady, I have no nothing with me. But there, the blessing was one of them. Okay? But today, we're going to speak of something. I remember last time we started today, we spoke about it, but we didn't have time to continue. Okay? So, it's, we're going to speak of the rapture. Okay? We all believe that we, who, who, who believe we are raptured? How many believe it? How many believe it? Ah, I can see some people are this scared to live there. So that's why we have to speak about it. Because you always had daddy and mommy and everyone, the brother talking, yeah, we are going, we're we going, we are raptured already. And they said, but you want to, these people, what are they talking about rapture? So you need to know, why are we saying the rapture? So that when you go out and meet your friends, and you tell them the rapture is already taking place, God, past, people will be asking you, but how? You need to be able to defend yourself and show. This is how it happened. This is how this means. How many believe that Jesus has already come? Ah, see that it's everyone raising their hand. So if I ask you a question, how will you be able to explain to me? That's a home of you. Go home. Next week, Sunday, next Sunday. I want at least something from you to show me. Me, I don't believe. I'll be the one who don't believe that Jesus Christ has already come. So I want to see you because you need to be able to show the scriptures and read. Some of you are already in high school, aren't you? Some of you are about to be Jesus. Who's about to be Jesus? Ah, soon being Jesus. You see, to deal with Jesus, 
you need to study science, math, geography, all those. You need to study so that when you go to sit your exams, you know. For you, you know when they give you these questions, science, what's this call? You say, I say, I. And what's this call? You say, this is. Because you study, you've been studying it. So, you see, so we need to be able as well to study the message and read the Bible, read the message so you'll be able to tell people and show them that Jesus has already come and all that. So that's your homework for next Sunday. I'll ask a few questions on that. So, uh, we're going to read in uh, Matthew. Matthew 16. We want to read just the way now, okay? 17 and 18. Okay? We want to read, we want to start and read the Bible. And he said, And Jesus, and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are thou, Simon, brother of John. For flesh and blood had not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. You may be saved. So, this is one of the questions if you read it out there. On verse 13, it's Jesus asking his disciples. Okay. He's asking them, who do people say? That? Because imagine Jesus was like a normal man, a normal person. Maybe imagine me, I'm the one telling you, look at me, I'm the Jesus. People will be looking at me, they will look at me and say, ah, but we know him, he works with those people there. He drives that car. Jesus was a normal person to everyone. And because people was asking, wondering who's that man is. So Jesus asked his disciple, people who goes to his church. Okay, people from his church. Who do people say? Him? People because they've heard people say that, that Jesus is a thief, that one is a bad. So he was asking them to find out from his people. Who they say? And some of them brought John, I mean Peter had a relation and told him exactly the right answer. And Jesus told him, Jesus was helping them. He said that that's that thing that you just said, no one has revealed to is God. So things that we believe, no one has ever showed us it. It's called himself has revealed it to us. And it has to be a revelation to you. Not because I said it. Not because daddy said it. You go to church, you're coming to church not because daddy is forcing you to come to church. Or mommy is forcing you to come to church. You're playing the music not because you are forced to do it. It should be something that you want. It's within your heart, your revelation. That you're serving God. Are you with me? So that's how when you know that that's the very good. It's like eating your food. No one will force you to eat food, isn't it? Who's gonna force you to feed you? No one's gonna feed you. Maybe there's a something you still forcing you to eat something you feed. But when you come to a certain age, you feel hungry. Definitely feel hungry. You want it, no one's gonna force you. You definitely gonna eat what is right available to eat. So that's how it is in Revelation. Okay? So Jesus was happy with him. And we speak of the rapture. So many people talk about the rapture. People got a different idea of the rapture. This is one of the pictures too. Online, how people speak of the rapture. When you go online on Google, type rapture, you see different pictures of rapture. People flying like this or him. With thunders all around. People are going to, I don't know where they're going, but I'm having this See, people are flying. Is that how the rapture is? No. No? Who said that? Good. Good. 
Bradshaw is not with them. No one's on the flag. Okay? No one is on. The people who are different today. This one with men made. Men have to stand here. This is for one man. We read it last time. Okay? He says, now man has their own ideas of what God ought to be and what God is going to do. Uh, can you read that? Can you see that? He says, men, they have own ideas of how God ought to be and what God is going to do. This picture shows you of that rapture. That's one of the men ideas. They think this is how the rapture will be. If I, you, you can go out and ask people, what's the rapture? People will tell you, well, rapture is flying, we're going to leave this earth and now disappear. We're going to disappear and go somewhere. But someone, Rabbana said, the rapture is a secret coming of the Lord. Yeah. Who knows what secret means? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows yet. He spoke of Romeo and Juliet. How many of us know the story of Romeo and Juliet? You know the story. How Romeo came to, came to take away Juliet. It was a secret because they were in love. Okay. She came, he came at the night and came there and brought take her away. So that's how it is with God. He will come, it will be a secret. It won't be something that everyone will know. Now, if the rapture is like this, or like this one, people will know that this picture here. Look how people are going to rapture with their clothes from Tesco, from Zara. They are flying with their clothes to heaven with their clothes on from Tesco and Zara. Some of them got no shoes. It means that some of them got socks. See how they are going to heaven. And some people say it's going to disappear. When you ask people to rapture, they say, no, we're not going to go. We're going to go. They imagine, this is me. Okay? And then I'm gonna I'm going to the rapture. You all can see. And suddenly I'm here talking to you. And suddenly, sure. <laughs> and you guys are sitting there. You will see my jacket falling off. This guy, everything in my shoes will remain there. You see, is, is it a secret now? It's not a secret. Imagine you are talking with somebody and there, you two are talking and it's like Disappear and disclose with them. What's the first thing you're going to do? Run. Right Maybe we report to the police. Someone is missing. So that's not sick. So the branch definitely is not like that. It was game on the law. And it's going to be on the newspaper. They will say the second people are missing. It's not going to be like that. That's a big branch. So, Robert Lang said, Men have their own ideas, so that's men idea of the of the rapture. And he said, men always, man is always giving God praise for what he did. Oh, thank God, he was with Elijah. Elijah wanted the rapture. People are just dreaming of that. But what God is doing now, people don't follow that. People don't follow. They tell God from what he did or what he's going to do. But what he's doing, people don't know. Okay? I'm going to go quick. Here it says, now in in the fourth chapter, John was caught up immediately. Can you see that? After the church, John going up, he saw, he saw the complete church. Listen to what I'm saying. There is where I would like to stop in just a second to say that many people who are expecting some great tremors, some great and powerful something to happen in. 
expect it's a powerful something to happen. They expect it's a powerful thing to happen. In the in the gentle age are certain people born. Many people are expecting something great to happen, especially for the rapture. People are expecting something great that will happen. But Brahman said they are wrong. The rapture is not something that is great. If God doesn't do things that will attract people, God never. He doesn't do things like that. Even the first time when he came, he didn't attract people. Here is beautiful. But did you see the way they draw him here? This man is handsome. God was Jesus when he came, he was him like that. It was some kind of man, maybe a skinny, short guy, with beard on him, you know. People wouldn't be looking at him. Come on, is that is that is that the God you're saying that God will come? Is that in that is that man? Because he wasn't attracting people. People were expecting something more, maybe someone what here will come down. Oh, 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 oh. I am here. But that's not the way God comes. He always comes in a way people don't. In a simple way that people miss it. Okay? Listen to this one, that red part here. Recognizing the word and the message. He said to 84, he said, That's the same thing they did in the old day. They were believing in the coming Messiah. Listen, in the old days, they were believing in the coming Messiah. Who was the Messiah in the old days? Who was the Messiah? Jesus. Thank you. They were believing the coming of the Messiah. They believed that there would be a foreigner. Come. Who was the front? John. John. They all believed that they had scriptures. They believed the Messiah would come. John was the front. They also believed that they would, they would, they, the front would have come. But it was right on them. And they didn't know it. They did not recognize it. They believed they would come the front. That would front the Messiah. And they cut his head off and killed the Messiah. Because it was prophesied that they will be blinded. Messiah will come, Jesus will come. Hallelujah. Before Jesus will come, we have to be a foreign. Hallelujah. We are waiting for them. They will preach that in church. They believe that people that were going to that church will believe in that. But when the Messiah came, it was there. They didn't believe it. They killed the Quran, who was John. Now listen to Brahman. And he said, and the same spirit that spoke through Hosea spoke through John and said that church is in the last day will be naked and blind. The church in the last is these people here, the way the all the church is here. The same one they were blinded to see the Messiah. They couldn't see him, they couldn't understand. The same thing is happening again today. People are blinded and naked. They don't even know it. No one talk about blind. It's not that it's not that their eyes are closed like this. That they don't see. Their eyes is wide, they are, they are wide open. But they are blinded. Of what? They can't see their fulfillment of the promise. Listen. And we we'll put him outside the church. They failed to see those prophecies fulfilled. We have prophecies that have been fulfilled. Like the rapture, Jesus coming. People are blind. They failed to see that. They failed to see that Jesus has come. Some people don't believe that because they have their own ways in their mind how Jesus will come. That's one. They failed to see uh, the rapture because they have their own way. See? They will disappear. This they are waiting for this body to disappear. One in the Bible says that this body is dust and it shall go back to the dust. So we are going to take this body. Because people say the prophet brother, has come to restore. Okay? And people will tell that restoration means, I think by the way, prostitution last time here. 
Restoration means to bring back to its position, original position. That's what you will say. If this mind always here and you find it there, that means it's not in this, it's not the mind is not in the position that it should be. So that's when we have to take it from there and bring it here. That's the right position of the of the of the mind. And the right position for this body, where is that? That's Everything has to go back to where it was. So, if the rapture, you want to take this, something, that's me, you're not, you're not taking it back, it's not restored. Restoration means taking back to this position where it was. So, the body, this body has to go back where it was. The only thing that go where it was, your soul, that one is from God. The one inside you. That's the one that goes to the rapture. But when you, say, when you become a Christian, when you baptize with the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, you become that one. You are not one, you are that one. That way, the way you are there, there are two people there. I am here talking to you. I'm two. There's this body, one that you're seeing, and there's this person who's talking to you who is inside. When I'm talking to you, I'm not talking to your body. No, 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 no. I'm talking to the one inside. And the one inside is the one who's going to answer back to me. And Brahmana said, we've never met him. He was preaching and shaking. Imagine there's a lot of people there who knows him. Brahmana told him that you've never met me. Come on, Brahmana. I know where you live. If I come and tell you you've never met me, you'll be laughing, isn't it? Because you know who I am. Brahmana was talking about him. He is inside. That inside. And Rabbana even went on and said, This is like a clothes, this body. It's like a suit. Today I'm gonna wear this suit that God today. Tomorrow I'm gonna wear it aside. I'm wearing another one. And our body is like a clothes. And the person who's wearing it is the one inside of you. And one of the days he's gonna, he's gonna throw this body and it's gonna go to the dust. So the real, real dust. The real Becky, the real Rebecca, the real uh, uh, Brownell, the real George, the real you is not this body. Keep that in mind. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Even then, I'm shaking George, shaking your hand. You okay? This is not him. This. The real him is inside. And that man inside never died. This one will go back to sleep. And Brahmanam said that Jesus will come as a thief in the night. Now when a thief come, what does he what does come to do? To steal, isn't it? You think a thief will come and steal a, a, a one pound note or 50 billion on the floor? No. He wants to say something very expensive, isn't it? Yeah, that's how the thief comes. Come and say something expensive. When we were in South Africa and the thief broke in our house, we were, we were all running and they, they faced me, they went and took the thief. Because they know if they go to sell the thief, they will make no money. Slippers was there, I left my slippers there. They didn't even take care of my slippers. They left the slippers because they knew why they wanted to leave the slippers. Now, Barbara said, our body cost about 80 cents. Something about 50p this body when you take it you burn it you take all the chemical the value of your body is 50 cents or 80 cents no you think a thief god will some of the thief will come and say something of 80 cents seriously and look at us we wearing clothes expensive clothes we put them on top of 80 cents thing some of them got shoes there you want those brand new shoes that come to that has brand new uh, uh, model, which costs about 200 pounds. Jacket, 500 pounds. Trousers, nice clothes. You see the person walking there, very nice, looking really nice. But his value is only 80 cents. And God will never come and steal something worth 80 cents. Never. A thief, when he comes, 
is still what's special. And what's precious is your soul. And that's why God has to leave heaven, came down to die. He didn't come to die for your body one. He came for your soul because that one, your soul, has more value. So that's the one that will go to heaven. And by what I'm saying, we are two. One to die, the one to go to heaven. Which one is to die? And which one is to go to heaven? Is your inside man. We should go to heaven. And the one to die is this body. And by what I'm saying, this body, God has made it as an animal. There's no difference between this body and the animal. If people, that's true, that's true. I don't want to say that. Some people eat the bodies. They eat an animal. When you kill an animal, a lamb, you kill it, you see flesh. Cut someone's body, you see the same flesh, same black animal. It's just an animal, this one. And God will never take it to So the person that goes to heaven is your his mind. So you need to remember that you are double. Just keep the mind. You are double. And this other body. Is only 50 cents. And your inside is more, even more than the blood of Jesus. That's what they say. The Bible says there's rejoice in heaven when one soul, one soul, not one body, one soul, give the last Christ. So when some of people give the last Christ, there's a rejoice in heaven. So your soul is so precious, and your soul, it does God. One day we will speak about that. That's God. Hold on, I'll show something. There were... There were... Um, a story of some uh, people from China. They used to... They used to wash... They had, they had a laundry. They used to wash clothes. So they didn't know how to speak English properly. Those people. They didn't know how to speak English. So when you come, you say that I want you to wash my clothes. You know what they do? They will take a piece of paper. They will cut it in a certain way, maybe like this, like this, like this. And they will keep one, put it on the top on your clothes, and give you another one to go with it. So when you come to collect your clothes, you need to bring this piece of paper. The only way they can't tell them my name is me, you wrote my name there because they don't know how to speak English. So the only way for them to know that was your blood, they would take the piece of paper from that one and try and match it together. So I put it like this. All right, this is yours. Then you can have this blood. If you bring it and it doesn't match, they will never give you your blood. And that's the same thing that God did. He took part of him he sent God to you and he sent me to God. The only part that will go to heaven, it has to match with what God has got. So, this body is not matching with what God has. Because this, Baba we say God made it in the form of an animal. Are you with me? God made it in the form of an animal. So the rapture, forget about this. Because this doesn't look good. God says, let's create man in our own image. So this is not the image of God. If this was an image, imagine, look, for a person, it doesn't look like me. You don't look like me. So we all say we are the image of God. Who's, who's the real image of God? Look, look, look at us. We all got different shape. Who got the image of God? So it's not this. Oh, it's the human body. But it's the other part that God did. He broke it. He gave it to you and he sent you to earth. And he remained with another part. Only that part, if it merges with what God has, then you come. So the body, forget about it. So, are you, are you me? So you, 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 you go what I'm saying. Okay? So the only special person that goes to heaven is your inside person. It's not your outside. People wonder what is rapture. Let's read the book of Balance here. So Jewish. They say, 
the mention of rapture, 65 he says, but to the church, the bride, the rapture is a revelation to her. It's revealed to her. That's the revelation. So the rapture to the bride, it is a revelation. Now what is a revelation? A revelation is something that was hidden, yeah, and they revealed it to you. I will give you another example. I like to speak to you so that you will understand it. So that even Bramel will understand very well what I'm trying to say. I'll give you an example of what it is. So everyone knows this box here. Okay? You see this box? There's something inside of this box. So when I show you, I say that the rapture is a revelation, okay? We talk about the revelation. The rapture is a revelation that has been revealed to you. Okay? Now, this box, if I ask you what is in the in this box? Who can tell me what is in this box? Bernard? A microphone. Yeah. Anyone anybody else? Yes, buddy. Huh? A plow. Uh huh? Good. Who else? Give me any answer. Who can tell me what is in this box? Okay. Prince, come. Prince, come, 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 come. Come, I'll show you something. Come on. So, someone say it's a plug. She say it's a microphone. Come this way. I will show you what is inside here, okay? I don't want to see. <coughs> Go. Go and see. Don't tell anybody, okay? Go and see. Now, I'm coming to ask a question again. Who knows what is inside this box? Who knows? Come on, give me an answer. See how Prince is there. Free. It's calm. You guys are doubting. This one is saying is this. This one is saying is that. But he, he knows what is inside. Even though it looks like a box of microphone, he himself knows. Why? Because it has been revealed to him. He knows what is inside this box. You guys don't know. That's why people are doubting the rapture. People are just saying, the rapture is going to have him flying. Some people are saying, the rapture is going to disappear. Some people are saying, the rapture is... Because people don't know what's the rapture. Okay? So, friends, can you tell them what is inside this box? A marker. A marker. He's the only one who knew what is inside. Because it's been revealed to him. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is that people are bringing us this kind of picture of rapture. But when I'm saying the rapture to the bride is a revelation to her. It's something that is revealed to you. Like uh, what we read with, uh, with uh, what's his name? Peter. Something that is revealed to you. Are you with me? So Babanum says, um, the church, the bride, the rapture is a revelation to her. It's revealed to her that the revelation. The true bride of Christ will be waiting for the revelation of the rapture. They will not wait to get disappeared. They will not wait to fly like birds. They will wait for that revelation that 
he was waiting until I revealed to him what it had. Are you with me? The time is gone. Definitely have to finish it because we have to be able to present to people when you go home, see your friend, and tell them what's the rapture, that the rapture is already taking place. Okay? So, we take this with you that you are two persons, like you are there sitting. There are two of you this body and the inner person. And the most expensive one, which one is the most expensive one? Your soul, what is inside. So, Jesus comes like a, a thief. Does a thief come and see something, a cheap thing? No. Even when you go to the shop, you look for expensive shoes, that's the one you must steal. Always, always steal. But when most of us look at the natural thing, he said the natural thing typifies the spiritual thing. If Jesus, if he naturally a cheap, steal an expensive thing, what makes you believe that Jesus will come and steal a cheap thing like this body we have? And we also spoke of the Chinese people who has those pieces of paper. They will give it to you and you go with it. And when you come back, because they don't know how to speak English, they will ask you, paper, paper. And you give them the paper, they will match it. Ah, this is your soul. The only thing that will match, that's how God did it. He put that soul in that body of you. And that's the only one that matches what God has. And that's the only one that God will take. And those Chinese people, they will give you your clothes. Take. The most important for them is that paper. And they will take the paper. Jesus, God, that body of you, he doesn't look like God. The only thing he will take is the inside. That's the most important thing to him, is your inside. So that's the one you come to take. And that's the one that goes to the rapture. Not this world. That's why people are so, they are, they are, they are confused that it's not revealed to them. These things are revealed to us. Now we are sharing it and now we know. Okay. This is how the rapture then is not this body. Then these people are lying to us. Look at them there. Look at the rapture of them people going to the rapture. They are lying. If people are within this kind of rapture, people will die. In this kind of rapture, there will be an accident. This kind of rapture. Hey, I don't want to be there. Alright, we're going to finish your way. Musician, come over. We're going to watch you next time. I want to take my time and time and time until you understand what's the rapture. You don't want to be left out when people are talking. When we are rejoicing, then we are rapture. People are rejoicing. You'll be sitting there wondering, hey, why are these people talking? You want, I want you to understand it. The rapture. So, don't forget, you are two the way you are. The one expensive and the cheaper one. The expensive one is your soul, and God will come for your soul. Because that's the only one that mentions him. He looks like, like that. When you see this great man in our image, that's how God looks like. Okay? Thank you. I'm going to sing the song. Pass me now, Roger.
be somebody who comes before um, mm -hmm. something happened or before uh, a person comes. It's like, say, for example, I'm the king, okay? And I'm saying I'm going to come to church here. And my friend, probably in Israel, he will come first to alert you to tell you that the king is coming. Okay? So the foreigner is somebody, somebody that will come and inform you and alert you that there's somebody coming or there's something happening. Okay? But which was John the Baptist. When he came, he did that. He was telling people that the Messiah will come. The Messiah is on And we also received you know, a, a foreigner who was about to run. In the, in back in the day, there was a Quran and there was Jesus. There were two people different. Now in our time here, we have the Quran and we have Jesus in one body. Okay. He played the role of the Quran and he played the role of the Messiah. Okay. Any other question? Right now? You okay? Alright, you can have a five minute answer.